Bernoulli's equation is important to many of the outcomes that we'll look at in this course. If we consider a little parcel of fluid that's sitting here, it's got a certain amount of potential energy, kinetic energy, and that potential energy is both due to elevation and due to the pressure that it's at. So if we call this location 1, then at location 1, this parcel has got some energy because of its elevation, the height at location 1, plus some energy because of its pressure at location 1, higher energy at higher pressures, plus some kinetic energy associated with the square of its velocity at location 1. Now if we follow that particle as it travels along some streamline, following it as it goes through time, it'll eventually get to location 2. And if there have been no losses or gains of energy, then the total amount of energy it's got at location 2 will be the same as the energy it had at location 1. So potential energy of elevation, potential energy of pressure at 2, potential en or sorry, kinetic energy with its velocity squared at 2. And that's going to be true again if there is no loss or gain of energy. Bernoulli's equation applies along any streamline. And a streamline is the same as a path line in steady flow. We can apply Bernoulli's equation along any streamline between two points, say from point 1 to point 2. We could just as easily apply it between any three points, some point at location 3, or at location 4, or at location 5. Any point, as long as it's on a streamline, this quantity, h plus p over rho g plus v squared over 2g, will add up to a constant representing conservation of energy. In the real world, we will have losses and gains in energy. In that case, we'll have the total energy at location 1, plus any energy that we added, typically from a pump, will be equal to the total energy we've got at 2 plus any energy that we lost along the way, possibly due to friction with the pipe walls or what we call minor losses, anything that isn't simple friction with the pipe walls but that lost some energy along the way. This is the equation that we'll use most often to deal with practical piping systems later on in the course. If you look at the mass at this location 1, its potential energy due to elevation is mgh. If you divide by mg, we can express that potential energy as h, and that provides us with a convenient form to write Bernoulli's equation, everything in terms of elevations associated with pressure, associated with kinetic energy, and of course associated with actual physical elevation.